Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more Pokemon White version. Last time, we got on a lot of training on Route 4 and in the Desert Resort and then made it to Nimbasa City where we squared off against Team Plasma. And then, as we went to go look for them, squared off against their newly revealed king, N. We learned what he plans to do, and now, we've been given an ultimatum. Become champion before N if we don't want him to use that power to separate Pokemon from people. This time, we are going to explore around Mbasa City, just south of the Ferris Wheel. With this very cheery music for the very serious atmosphere that we just had, there is an X attack. I think I'm also going to put on my dowsing machine. Because, yes! Super Repel, always loving that, always happy to run into less wild Pokemon in the process of doing pretty much anything. The gym of Nimbasa City is here in this immediate area. Once again, as always, you can challenge it right now, but there's a lot to do and see in the immediate area, much of which is helpful to you, so we're going to be tackling things in that order, as per usual. <laughs> Once again, wow, I told you to not get used to seeing old Pokemon. Ah, you know the rest. It's kind of weird how there's so many references everywhere, even though you can't actually obtain one. It's very strange. I'm not really sure why they did that if they wanted to go all in with this whole new Pokemon thing. Battle Institute, test your trainer skills. Maybe we shall. Or maybe we shan't. Because, uh, wait, can we actually? Okay, no, never mind, you can't. Uh, I am sorry, it's too early for you to challenge a battle test. Please come back after you finish your journey and build your strength. This is the beginning of a recurring feature that I don't understand. I feel like it's incredibly pointless, incredibly stupid, and I don't get why it keeps coming back, but hey, it's not like we can even participate in it, in it anyway, so for all you know, maybe you completely disagree with me. I'll let you judge for yourself whenever we come back here and are able to do it. Have you seen the musical? My own Pokemon up there on the stage? That is an indescribably moving experience. Castelia City is the heart of business, Nimbaza City is the heart of leisure. Various people and Pokemon gather all over Unova, and the region is becoming more and more lively. Indeed! Nimbasa City is based on Coney Island. Once again, ooh, that's quite the interruption right there, but we'll get to that in a second. Uh, yes, it is based on Coney Island. It might not be an island itself, but it's kind of got the whole theme park vibe going on, and it's near a train station that we briefly walked past that hopefully you took note of, so it kind of has all that going on. Oh my, your Duat seems to like you. That's so nice, makes me want to give you this. The Soothe Bell. This makes it so that your Pokemon raises its happiness sooner, getting happiness points sometimes twice as fast as it normally would have. It kind of rolls for it. Since one of the ways that you can raise happiness is by riding your bicycle, and we just got that, this is what I was talking about, that you'll be able to raise your happiness sky high in no time flat whatsoever. And in fact, now that we have the Strength HM, it's time for some backtracking. This is going to be a huge sink of my time and be incredibly stupid of me because getting around the region is rather cumbersome. But you know what? I'm doing it for you. So you can decide whether or not you want to do the same after you see the items that you get for doing it. I'm trying to be thoughtful and considerate and all that junk. But before we go, I want to head into the Pokemon Center because, uh, top clerk is the same, why did I talk to you? Bottom clerk. Welcome to the technical machine department. May I help you? Yes, you may. You have my permission to be doing this thing that is happening right now. Very worth your time to come in here and check this, because odds are there's at least something useful that you can teach your Pokemon. First time that we're seeing this. Frustration TM uh, teaches a normal type physical move that does more damage based on the less your Pokemon likes you. Return is the opposite, being a physical normal type move that does more damage based on how much your opponent, or how much your Pokemon likes, how much your opponent likes you, yes. It tests the bonds of friendship through the feeling check. This is a great move if you have any sort of normal type Pokemon, maybe if you're using a Herdier, this could be fantastic. It caps off at 102 base power, which is excellent for a move with 100 accuracy. Thunder Wave is one of the best moves in the game. You already know what it does. I personally don't need this because Blitzel already does it on its own. Gyro Ball is a Steel-type physical move. The slower you are than your opponent, the more damage it does. Light Screen will increase the special defense of your entire team for five turns. Safeguard makes it so that you can't be inflicted with status ailments for five turns on your entire side of the field. And Reflect is the physical counterpart of Light Screen. Great TMs. I don't think I personally need to buy any of these, but... Wow, I guess it really isn't true that odds are you're going to have at least one move that you're going to want to buy here. Maybe I could go for the light screen, but I don't want to spend that much money or either. 
I don't know, maybe I'll think it over, but I just wanted to show you that it's here because it's not just a good Pokemart, it's a great Pokemart. Seriously, check it out. My beauteous Minchino, I met it on Route 5. Is that even a word? I I've learned to stop questioning that. I'm pretty sure that the professional writers that write this dialogue know more words than I do, so I'm just gonna go with that. I'm pretty sure it will be popular in musicals. We're just hearing all about these musicals lately. Nimbasa City rocks! There was a guy who gave me an HM called Strength for free! <laughs> That's one way to decide your favorite city. <laughs> now, we're gonna begin our backtracking. I will see you back in the tracking. And who am I kidding? We should be putting our bicycle to the test here because we have it. First off is the Desert Resort. And I better know what you're thinking. Wait, there's no rocks around here that we wanna get. I say to that, Yes, there are. There's just a Pokemon living inside it. <laughs> We're gonna catch ourselves a Dwebble. Hopefully you have Sturdy for your ability. Well, maybe I don't even need to worry about that. I should probably just chuck a Quick Ball at you and make this, well, quick and easy. And I just wanna say, yeah, I think the Dwebble Sprite is just as cute as the next guy, but man, did the anime have to ruin my perception of Dwebble. If you remove its shell and see what it looks like normally, it looks like a scorpion. And like a really skinny, unnatural looking scorpion, and it just creeps me out. I don't like it. Uh, never like scorpions, just they freak me out. They, they, they're they so dangerous looking, and the claws in the front with the stinger in the back, and uh, Sorry, scorpions are one animal that I just, I've always been afraid of. They're my irrational fear. It makes a hole in a suitable rock. If the rock breaks, the Pokemon remains agitated until it locates a replacement. It's implied that Dwebble secretes an acid from its mouth in order to eat a hole through the rock to make it its shell. Uh, it, Dwebble, to me, is such a weird mix between cute and creepy at the same time. What to name you, though? What to name you? Okay, this is dumb, and this is why I never let myself name any of the important Pokemon, but I'm a really big fan of the way Hank Hill says Boggle in that one episode of King of the Hill, and the way I said Dwebble the other day just reminded me of it, so I made the connection. Boggle is not a team member, it's just merely an HM user. <laughs> we haven't encountered many good HM users so far, but Dwebble is interesting in that it learns both cut and strength. So I recommend catching yourself a Dwebble and teaching it both of these moves, just so you don't have to carry around two Pokemon to use your HMs. We can't do anything with the boulder we saw in the Dream Yard, so that means... The only useful boulder is on Route 2. Aw, oh, it's so cute being that tiny and being able to push boulders around. Seriously, it's one foot tall, counting the shell. <laughs> For that, we get a rare candy. Nice getting the free level up, but I'm gonna be saving my rare candies until we're very high up in the level so that I get the most experience points returned out of using them as opposed to using them now in the low levels. And I figured while we were here, we could stop in and say hi to Professor Juniper. Yeah, screw you, Mom. <laughs> because as you see more Pokemon in your Pokedex, I said that she has more rewards for you. Let's check in and see how we're doing. How's your Pokedex coming along? Can I see it? Let me see. Oh, so you've seen 46 Pokemon in the Unova region. Some Pokemon can only be found in certain caves. You might want to go back and search caves you've already passed through. Seems like you're meeting Pokemon at a good clip. Here, I this is a thank you gift for all your hard work. For that, we get TM54 False Swipe, a very useful tool for catching wild Pokemon, as it will always leave the foe with one HP if they would have otherwise fainted from taking the hit. Kind of a nice reward for catching lots of Pokemon, I appreciate that. Do you have anything else for us, perhaps? Maybe? I don't think you do, but I just want to be absolutely sure. No, you don't. All right. And okay, fine. I'm not that heartless to not stop in and say hi to mom when we're in the same town. Blair, how are your Pokemon? You should rest a little. Good trainers don't push their Pokemon too hard. Gee, so glad he'd been worried about me, your son that you've raised, and more worried about the Pokemon that you've never met a day in your life. <laughs> Man, she did not say one word about how I've been that entire time, ouch. I really am not the favorite anymore after what I did to my room. And while we're out in Daboonies, the uh, daycare man said to stop by Route 3 again if we ever had the opportunity. I'm the daycare man. We take care of the precious Pokemon of other trainers. If you'd like us to raise your Pokemon, have a word with my wife. Now that he's back, we now have access to breeding. You can leave two Pokemon in the daycare and, um, ahem, 
they will run around in circles and play with each other, producing an egg. Eggs will contain a Pokemon of the species of the mother with moves of the father. The way that it works is that any sort of TM move that the father can learn, that the child can also learn, gets passed on automatically. It's not that big of a deal since TMs are infinite use anyway, but there are some moves that can only be accessed through breeding that are exclusive through certain pairs. It's very complicated. Pokemon can breed as long as they are within the same egg group, which has been gone over passively in the bios up to this point. I'm not going to make this a huge focus or anything, but just know that you can access breeding now should you want to. The only super remarkable thing about it that I might take advantage of in the future is the fact that Ottawa is female, meaning that I can easily make Oshawott eggs. Something that not too many people can claim. We are back, and we're going to pick back up where we left off by exploring this third house on the left side of the city. People say shiny Pokemon look like they're gleaming when they come out of the grass. Shiny Croc Rock. I wonder what colors they are. If I'm not mistaken, not terribly all that different. What am I looking at? Nuha, 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 Ha! That's not as amusing as Glug Glug Glug, but I'm pretty surprised by the extreme vocabulary that you got. Uh, when a Pokemon evolves, it gets stronger and its appearance changes significantly. A Pokemon you keep evolving will learn. A uh, Pokemon you keep from evolving will move, learn moves more quickly. <laughs> Stay connected with your Pokemon even if they change their appearance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you seem to be sounding like my mother right away. Yes, the sun! It inspires me to give you this! I like Mr. Sun, then. Sunstones are stones that, uh, that make certain Pokemon evolve. If you have a, uh, I gave it to Petalil as a present. If you have Petalil or Cottony, they will evolve from that, so that's where you get this. You're probably not going to be the high enough level to have Cotton Guard, like I was saying by this point, further justifying what I said about them. Le leisurely trips by train. Riding from Gear Station to Anvil Town feels like a bit of a dream. Am I the- okay, I've heard the le uh, leisure, said as leisure or leisure, but I've never heard leisurely. I've only ever heard leisurely, so I, I don't know. I've always thought that was a little bit strange, because I've never heard it said that way, but I don't know. No one can ever agree on how to pronounce anything in English, because English sucks. We athletes in our Pokemon show excellent teamwork! You can see it in big stadium and small court, so please stop by. How about we do that right now? So we're just gonna go around and I guess now we can actually see more of the attractions in the city. I don't believe that there's any stadiums in New York that match geographically where these are located in Nimbasa City. So I don't think there's any interesting lore there for you. However, apparently humans playing football exists in the Pokemon world. POWER! Power is essential for both Pokemon and football! I've never been that big of a football fan. In fact, I've lived in the United States my entire life and I can't even tell you the rules of American football. I don't know what a linebacker is, to be perfectly real with you. I don't know what a quarterback is or what they do or what any of the plays mean. I know I should be ashamed and I should be exiled from this country. It's all part of the plan. Badmouth football so much that I get exiled and then gain access to universal healthcare. But let's not mince with that. I don't know what significance you have to football, Taramaka. Maybe you'd make a good ball, but I'm rambling here. These stadiums. They have trainers in here to battle every single day. This is a daily event. In fact, I would kind of argue that Nimbasa City is the town of daily events, because I feel like whenever you're just going on your rounds and taking care of everything that you need to do, I always find myself stopping by Nimbasa City for the longest out of any area. So we're probably going to be here a lot. This is going to be a good place for some off-screen training if we want to do that. We're just going to use Water Pulse one more time, hopefully take care of you. And usually it's not every NPC that'll battle you, there's just a few. Did I not have enough power? Maybe you couldn't see out of that helmet because your eyes are kind of only barely visible at the angle that you're standing at. I am training to be the very best with my Pokemon like no one ever was. His. Those eyes, it looks like he's coming right at me. This is probably not a good place to be standing, like not very safe. I've trained and built up my muscles by tackling Pokemon. Nothing can move me. Okay, I will defend the, uh, the to the end with moves like protect and detect. Really, if you just put Pokemon and have them using their moves in American football, then I'd probably find it more interesting. <laughs> not ragging on anyone who likes sports. Everyone's gotta have their hobbies. I've just never really un gotten into it myself. My favorite moves, I'd say tackle and take that. Okay, that's kind of funny. Anything else? Court. Oh! Holy crap! You're actually telling me the things that I didn't know! I know what a quarterback does! And I know it because of video games! 
And people said I'd never learn anything playing Pokemon my entire life. Well, I just proved you wrong. I learned more than I could absorb from watching sports. Bodies crashing into other bodies. Go, go, go. I'm the owner. That's what I like to see. How violent and greedy of you. You hoop, pass me the ball. I am a great secret weapon. The only problem is I'm so secret I've never been in a game. <laughs> ball used in football is oval shapes and hard to throw, isn't it? Once you get the hang of it, you can throw it perfectly. I've never been able to throw a football well in my entire life, so maybe that's my reasoning for not being, like, super big about it. I'm gonna stop saying that I'm not super big on sports, okay? I don't want to, like, keep ragging on that, though. It's just, it's all I really can say whenever people ask me what I know about sports, and I feel really awkward about it, and I know, poor me, oh no, how dare I feel awkward about a subject that is commonly talked about. It's not like I am awkward when it comes to everything else anyhow. I do kind of like the detail that you can see the um, see the uh, stands up here and just kind of watch people um, people coming in to watch them practice. There are different sports that are played in this arena because the goalposts and everything were holographic as well as the markings on the ground. They switch that out daily and you're going to see loads and loads of different sports being played. In fact, if we can go right next door to the... Uh, oh, that's Pokemon Musical. I don't want to catch up with Bianca quite yet. Oh, wait. Uh, happy, feel light and happy as if I was holding an air balloon. <laughs> that sounds like something nerdy that I would say to try to fit in with people that are <laughs> playing sports. Um, here we go. In the small court, looks like we have, uh, women's tennis today. Yes, we do. And Miss First Lady, an elegant smasher has an elegant battle. That means you play Super Smash Brothers, right? Next up with that done, Yoo-hoo, Blair! Just had a look at the musical theater. It's so cool. Since you're here, come on, Blair. Come with me. Over here. Over here. Not gonna let us leave town without saying hi to you. You barely caught a glimpse of me on the street, so you came after me. It's always uh, awkward whenever that happens, and you just really need to get someplace in a hurry, and they will not let you go. Okay, we're in. Let's go. Amazing, isn't it? Hello, you two. How do you do? I am the owner of this theater. Please to pleasure to meet you. Oh, I must say, you two seem like phenomenal trainers. What do we do here? We use props to make your Pokemon fashionable and glamorous. You want to join in and play dress up? To get you started, here is a prop case. Uh, I didn't play that dee 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 doo like it does for when you obtain contest items. I, I like that sound effect and I think it's kind of underplayed, so I wish they did that. This prop case lets you store props for decorating your Pokemon. First off, you need to pick a Pokemon. Uh, ooh, I don't want to use any of these. No, no, oh, no, no, I don't want to use these guys. No, what are you doing to me? I don't want to use them. I wanted to use somebody else, but I guess that's all on me. Okay. Well, I'm gonna use Ottawa. Then it's time to play dress up. You have this really strange interface in which your props go in a ring around your Pokemon and then you drag them onto it. Uh, I went for the look of creepy old man in a hula skirt playing tennis. <laughs> yes, this looks okay. Wow, the two of you did a fantastic job coordinating everything. Utterly charming. If you have a Pokemon who could play dress up, you can participate in the Pokemon musical. Would you please join us? The reception can explain everything. Let us say a brief farewell. I eagerly await, uh, anticipate seeing you on stage. Oh, I don't know what to do. Doing the musical would be totally cool, but there's other stuff I want to do. Okay, that's it. I've made up my mind. I'm going to see the sights in Mombasa. See ya, Blair. She made up her mind rather quickly, kind of eliminating any sort of challenge that she had on herself. I want to go into the PC. For one, Lillipat picked up a revive. I'll be taking that. For two, there is a certain Pokemon that I think should be participating up on stage. To repay Salsa for all he has done for us, I'm going to go against my word. He's only one level away from learning Flame Burst. And you know what? I think he deserves to learn it. Just to do something nice for the little guy, you know? I was awfully mean to him. We'll get rid of, we'll get rid of Incinerate because no one deserves to have a move like that in their moveset. Ugh, it's a freaking insult is what it is. And you know what else you deserve, Salsa? Eh, 
After being so weak for so long, you deserve a stronger body. You're the only Pokemon that evolves the Fire Stone. Let's just give it to you. We got two of them. We're not gonna use this one on anything else. Your life has been getting gradually better over time. You gained levels, you participated in some important fights and did some big stuff, you got a better nickname, now you got a better body and some stronger moves. And guess what? We're not done yet. Because you're about to become a star on Broadway. We're gonna give you that chance above anyone else. Oh, uh, I didn't see what I selected, crap, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Well, uh, this is going to be an interesting experience then. I didn't think the text was gonna scroll that fast and I was just mashing A. I seem to do that a lot. I think the first category is stardom, which if that's the case, then I think I'll play with that. Eugene with peaks, uh, Blair with salsa, Gilda with Twillery, and Hudson with red belt. Okay, so we are doing a startup. So it's popular among men. Let's play dress up. Yes, popular among men. Let's play dress up. Uh, in stardom, any sort of item that is seen as cool will boost your points and your opinion with the crowd. So we're gonna go for, yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, this is pretty cool as well. Yeah, so we're gonna go with that. Uh, we'll give you the cane. That's, I guess, more classy than cool, though, but we'll go with it anyway. Uh, maybe the tennis racket. Generally speaking, Pokemon are going to be better in musicals if they have hands. Pokemon that do not have any sort of arms, they can't equip these tools that we put into its hand, like the tennis racket. Those are what's going to be helping you to do really well in these. And I gotta say, it's kind of impressive, if nothing else, that they were able to make just... You know, like, they were able to define that, oh, this is the Pokemon's neck, this is the Pokemon's waist, this is the Pokemon's hands, and the game understands that, letting you put the items on the Pokemon where it makes sense. And you can do this with any Pokemon, it's not just limited to a select few. I can't imagine just what a nightmare this was to put together. And it's a little bit of a shame, because this side mode, I'm not a super big fan of. It's admirable, if nothing else, but yeah, well, you'll see. After you're done playing Dress Up, you can kind of drag the items around if you want to adjust how they sit on the Pokemon a little bit. So you want the tie to be a little crooked, you can do that. You want the hat to kind of match how their head is tilted in their sprite, you can do that as well. You can make your Pokemon look really nice. Though personally, I just throw a bunch of crap all over them and hope that I get lots of points for having more items as opposed to less items. Generally speaking, if your Pokemon has more spots to place items on, you're probably going to do better, especially once again with the hands. But let's see how we did. Oh man, I can't believe Dawn is in the audience, guys. <laughs> Wait, that Petalil has a pitchfork? <laughs> the throw is a smiley. Okay, I've seen the throw with a smiley face and I always thought that was funny. I've never seen a Petalil carrying around a pitchfork. <laughs> Perhaps it is Mean Leaf back from the dead come to haunt me. <laughs> so, basically you just kind of watch the musical play out and uh, you want to steal the thunder from your opponents. Whenever they're appealing with their hand item, you want to swoop in, grab the crowd's attention with it. However, the same can be done to you. Having two arm items is generally preferred so that if you get screwed, you're not totally screwed and you'll get one more opportunity to get the crowd's attention. that interactive or hands-on I do kind of feel like it's Pokemon contest light if and not really terribly exciting because of that but it is an excellent use of the fully animated sprites and I can at least give it some points for that you can save the photo to the musical theater checking it out anytime in the future in fact I received comments from uh, for you from the audience 
I am rather pleased. I will give them to you in order. In fourth place, Hudson's dress-up performance was very unique. Your Pokemon played its role very well. In third, Gilda's dress-up performance was very cool. Your Pokemon played its role very well. Second place, ha 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 ha. Looks like Salsa the Monkey is now a star on Broadway. Yes, yes, yes. Convey such an abundant expression, just as if they were actors. Thank you very much for participating in the musical today. Please join another musical again. Have a great day. There are other categories that you can enter. For a stroll, uh, uses cute items. That's what the crowd likes the best in that one. A sweet soiree is elegant items. And exciting Nimbasa is unique items. There are also three special songs that could have only been downloaded from events. I don't have a way of showing these to you, unfortunately. But just know that there are these. No more contests, no more Pokeathlon. This completely replaces them. You can also play this, um, you can just do the dress up room if you just want to do that part and not really do the musical part. And in addition to that, there is also a multiplayer mode that doesn't work any differently. It's just being able to screw with your friends instead of screwing with AI opponents. It's not too terribly different, so I didn't really feel it was overly necessary to do any more than a footnote. I'll come watch again, Blair. That was so wonderful, it may have changed my life. Hope you like this prop. The Scarlet Cape. Whenever you do a musical, um, you'll have some fans waiting for you in the lobby. You get more fans the more musicals that you do well in, and they will give you more and more props to be able to do musicals better and better. It's pretty nice. She's explaining everything that I just explained, and be- <laughs> That's kind of funny! <laughs> she gave me echoed voice after echoing what I just said. That is a normal type special move that becomes more and more powerful the more consecutive turns that you use it. It's a little bit like... Fury Cutter, which we've already seen. Originally, people performed in this musical theater. One, one time, a Pokemon wandered up on stage and started imitating the actors. Everyone thought it was sensational. Ta-da! Pokemon Musical was born. I like learning about that, how a lot of the greatest discoveries in history or greatest inventions in history were just uh, accidents. Not that I think that this is one of the greatest things in history by any stretch, but yeah, I just I kind of like that getting brought up. When I play dress up, matching the show you're performing in is important. You're not saying anything interesting. I'm not trying to brag, but we're rather rich. If you see rich people, you think musical. It's a matter of taste, I guess. Yes, but I, a peasant, can understand those tastes and do well in them. Thank you very much. See, it's beyond this entrance, but I think you belong on the spectacular stage. Oh, excuse me. I'm not good enough to be an audience, or I'm too good to be an audience member. Can't say I've ever been told that before. <laughs> um, so you can see that the date is laughably wrong because like I said, I am shamelessly cheating the clock to show you seasonal events and I have no shame about it whatsoever. I'm just trying to be as in depth as I can. I feel like these, this was taken at the precise moment when the sprites were in their default positions because there's not really a lot of aliasing or sprite rotation going on here. Kind of cool. The Patrat actually looked pretty cute. I do have to give it that. It's probably about as cute as a Patrat in a video game has ever looked, but the Pokemon cards, yeah, they definitely have you numbered there. There's loads and loads of props that you can collect. They're not all accessible to us right now, so I see no reason to interrupt this moment. Daddy, what are you doing here? I've come to take you back home, of course. Your mother told me you'd made it all the way out here. Haven't you gone far enough? No way. I'm gonna keep traveling with Blair and my Pokemon. Absolutely not. Others do things their way and we do things ours. Is that so? Then, how about you do things your way, and I'll do things mine? Sweetie, you keep going on your travels. Hey! Who do you think you are? This is a family matter! My name's Elisa. I am this town's gym leader. I also happen to be a model. You know, there are many people in this world. There are people whose way of thinking may be completely different from yours. Sometimes... This means you may get hurt. Of course! That's exactly right! It's because I'm worried about that! But it's important to keep trying to learn about the differences between yourself and others. To learn that being different is okay. And you shouldn't worry. Trainers always have Pokémon at their side. Pokémon are wonderful. It's not only how cute they can be, but also how much you can depend on them. Please! I know there's gonna be painful stuff like you're worrying about. I know, really, I get it. But like, listen, there will be tons of nice people too. Know what else? Since I've been traveling with Pokemon, I've already gotten tougher, I can totally tell. So please? Hmm, I guess. 
If wanting to continue your journey is selfishness on your part, wanting to stop you is selfishness on mine. I'm surprised to find I'm the one being childish, at my age. The gym leader's comments help me wake up. Bianca, I'm sure it's better that you take the path you want to take now. I hope your journey will be fun. Bon voyage. Blair, please take care of my little girl, okay? Papa, I'll come home after I find out what I really want to do. I'm sure he traveled as a trainer himself in the past. Being a parent must be hard. Did I meddle unnecessarily? You looked troubled, so I decided to chime in. By the way, if you're trainers, please stop by the Pokemon Gym. I'll teach you a little something about how tough a journey can get. She's so cool! <laughs> I want to be a totally cool woman like Alisa! Hmm, I wonder how I'll get there. Well, before that, I guess I need to discover what I really want to do. See you later, Blair. Such a sweet, touching moment with such sweet piano music that I love so much, and it gets interrupted by this really upbeat stuff that just keeps chiming in after everything important that happens. But with that, we participated in our first Pokemon musical, and we have some resolution for Bianca. Next time on Pokemon Black and White, we're going to continue seeing what there is to do around Nimbasa City as it's also pretty darn big. See you guys then.